Good morning everyone. So ngayon, uh, we have our new tutorial video. So this video is for uh, module 6. Okay, which is uh, finding the end term of a geometric sequence and geometric means. Our learning competencies, number one, to determine geometric means and number two, to determine the end term of a geometric sequence. So, um, in our uh, previous uh, videos, itinuro na natin kung paano mag kuha ng um, common ratio. So, sa geometric sequence, may tinatawag na common ratio. So, paano kunin yung common ratio? Simply divide the second term by the first term. So, ganun lang. I-divide lang natin. No? Okay. So, before we start with our uh, lesson, so, I will show you a picture. Okay. Kilala nyo ba kung sino ang nasa picture? Of course. Kilalang kilala ito ng mga naglalaro ng Mobile Legend. Ano? Sino siya? Okay, siya po ay si Aldus. No? Isang hero ng Mobile Legend. So, gagamitin natin ito uh, para uh, maunawaan nyo yung ating topics. Okay. Now, so this hero, si Aldus, increases his power of punch two times in each level. He dealt 20 points damage every punch from his first level. How many points of damage every punch will be deal to the enemy when he reach the fifth level? So, uh, kung baga, yung hero dito is, uh, yung suntok niya ay uh, dumodoble. Ano? Pagkalipas ng uh, isang level. So, pagka next level, dudubli siya. So, ganun yung uh, power ni Aldus. So, yung tanong, gaano kalakas yung kanyang uh, punch or power punch hanggang mag 5th level siya. So, ganun lang yung tanong. Okay, yung tanong na yan, i-convert natin doon sa mathematical sentence. So, sa mathematical sentence, Yung tanong na yan ay parang ganito lang. Find the fifth term of the geometric sequence whose common ratio is 2 and first term is 20. So, ganun lang po. So, ngayon, i-disregard na natin yung uh, sa kay uh, Aldous. Okay, dito na tayo sa mathematical sentence. Okay, yung our lesson 1 is finding the n term of geometric sequence. So, ito yung ito na yung tanong natin or mathematical sentence. Find the fifth term of geometric sequence whose common ratio is 2 and the first term is 20. So, of course, para malaman natin kung uh, pang ilan yung fifth term, so kailangan nating gamitin yung formula or ito yung ay tinatawag na general rule or n term. Okay, yung general rule natin ay a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times or quantity r then to the power of n minus 1. Okay, kung saan ang ating a sub 1 is yan ay yung first term natin. Yung r ay ang common ratio. Then yung n, yung ating level. Ano, or yung term natin, n term. Okay. So, meron tayong mga uh, steps kung paano kunin yung uh, n term. Okay. First, find the value of a sub 1, r, and n. A sub 1 natin is the first term. Meron tayong first term dyan. So, our first term is 20. Then, yung common common ratio that is 2. Then, yung n natin, that is 5. 
Okay, so ito na po 'yon. No? Meron na tayong value. Ang mga values ng mga 'yan. So next second, substitute the value of a sub 1 r and n to the general rule. So ito yung general rule natin. Is substitute lang natin yung mga values diyan. Okay. So we have Okay, a sub 5. Okay, yung n natin is 5 kaya uh, sinabtitute natin yung yung 5 ito dito sa n. Then yung a sub 1 or the first term that is 20 so naging 20. Then r or common ratio yung 2 then naging 2. Then yung n natin is 5 that's why ito ay naging 5 minus 1. Okay, next. Okay. Simplify na natin. A sub 5 is equal to 20 times 2 to the power of 4 or to the 4th power. So, okay. Ano yung gagawin na dito? So, kailangan lang natin i-multiply. Yung base natin is 2. So, yung 2, i-multiply natin ng apat na beses. So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. Okay, then next, we have a sub 5 is equal to 16. Ito na yung result natin. 16 na siya. Okay, then next, uh, 20 times 16. Okay, 20 times 16 is equal to 320. So, our fifth term or a sub 5 is equal to 320. So, doon pala sa power ni Aldous, kung nasa fifth level siya, yung punch power niya ay aabot ng 320 per punch. You know? Kada suntok ay 320 ang damage niya. So, ganun tala kasi Aldous. So, by the way, uh, pabayaan na natin yung ML dito tayo sa mathematics. Okay, another example. Find the sixth term of the geometric sequence which is negative 2, negative 6, negative 18, and negative 54. So, meron siyang ellipsis, meaning to say it is an infinite sequence. So, what is our first step? Okay. Our first step is to find the value of a sub 1, R and N. So, yung A sub 1 natin is the first term. We have negative 2. Yung R. Okay, yung R natin, to find the R or co common ratio, we divide the um, negative 6 divided by negative 2. And then, the result is positive 3. Then, yung N natin is 6. Okay? Then, next... Okay, so, ayan na yung mga values. Then next, or second, substitute the value of a sub 1, r, and n to the general rule. Okay, andito na yung general rule natin or the formula. Okay, let us substitute. So, yung um, a sub n naging a sub 6. Then, yung a sub 1 naging negative 2. Yung r naging 3. And then yung n naging 6. Kaya 6 minus 1. Then, simplify. We have uh, a sub 6 equal to negative 2. Then, open and close parenthesis or quantity 3 to the fifth power. Kasi 6 minus 1 is 5 or fifth. Okay, then, simplify natin yung 3 uh, to the power or to the fifth power. We have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, we have 243. Okay, then, a sub 6 is equal to negative 2 times 243. Then, our answer is negative 483. Okay, ganun lang po sa paghanap na n term. Okay, next lesson, finding the geometric means. Okay, ito yung question natin. Find the three geometric means between 20 
and 320 so parang ganito siya ito ay sequence or geometric sequence pero yung nasa gitna ay missing okay so the given terms are the first and last term so yung given lang dito ay 20 and 320 so yung first and then yung last or the fifth so these terms are called extreme so ang tawag daw dito sa dalawang ito ay extremes and the terms between these are called geometric means so ibig sabihin ito ito lang pala yung tinatawag na geometric means ito yung missing no okay yung nasa blank okay find the three geometric means between 20 and 320 Okay, ito na yun. Okay, then our extremes are 20 and 320. So, uh, we will use a general rule to find the common ratio. Okay, bakit uh, gagamit ng general rule? Ano? So, kasi yung pinaka-importante dito, hahanapin natin dito yung common ratio. Ano? Pag nalaman natin yung common ratio, malalaman natin yung kasunod ng 20. So, for example, uh, yung 20, uh, yung common ratio is 3. So, yung 20, we will multiply lang, or imo-multiply lang siya to the common ratio. Then, uh, lalabas na yung uh, next term. Then, yung next term, i-multiply, lalabas din yung next term. Okay. Okay, now, let us okay, find the three geometric means between 20 and 320. Okay. First, we need to find the value of a sub 1, n, and a sub n. Okay, our a sub 1 or the first term is 20. Then n, since our uh, geometric means is uh, 3 plus uh, 2 extreme, so we have 5. So our n is 5. Then a sub n is our fifth term. So our fifth term is 320. Okay, so wala pa tayong common ratio, yan yung hahanapin natin. Okay, then next, second, substi substitute the value of a sub 1 n and a sub n to the general rule. Okay, so hindi na natin pinakita yung uh, general rule, diretso na tayo dito sa pag-substitute. So, our a sub n, okay, that is 320. Then, our a sub 1 is 20. Then, yung r is uh, hinahanap natin. So, yung hinahanap dito ay yung r. Then, yung n natin is 5. Okay, 5 minus 1. So, we have 320 is equal to 20 times r to the fourth power. Okay, the next. So, to uh, cancel 20, we need to divide 20 by 20, then uh, to transfer or transpose. So, we need to divide 320 divided by 20. Then, the result is, okay, so, the result is 16. Okay, 320 divided by 20 is 16. So, 16 is equal to r to the 4th power. So, how will uh, we remove the exponent? Okay, we need to okay to uh, change it to the radical form. So, yung 16 natin ay naging 
fourth uh, root of 16 is equal to r so how do we find the fourth root of 16 okay so we need to find the uh, factor no meaning to say uh, factor of the four factors of 16 so the four factors is 2 2 times 2 times 2 so that is 16 so that's why our r or the common ratio is 2 okay pwede rin naman na uh, uh, yung square root what is the square root of 16 so the square root of 16 is 4 then what is the square root of 4 the square root of 4 is 2 so apat na basis na yun no okay so since we have our common ratio okay we have 2 so madali lang i identify yung mga missing term so we have uh, our first term is 20. I multiply lang natin with the common ratio, which is 2. Our, the result is 40. So, our our second term is 40. Then, 40 times 2, the result is 80. So, our third term is 80. Then, 80 times 2, that is 160. So, our fourth term is 160. So now, our geometric means between 20 and 320 are 40, 80, and 160. Okay. More example? Okay, another example. So, find the two geometric means between 81 and 3. Okay, ito yung mga solutions. Okay, first step. Of course, we need to find the value of a sub 1 and in a sub n. Okay, here our a sub 1 is 81. Then our n, so since we have uh, extreme of 81 in 3, then 2 geometric means. So, 2 plus 2. 2 extreme and 2 geometric means is 4. So that's why our n is equal to 4. Okay? Then, a sub n natin is yung pang 4th term. Kasi 4 nga. Yung pang 4th term natin is 3. So that's why we have a sub 1 is 81, n is 4, a sub n is 3. So, okay. So, next step, or second step, second step, substitute the value of a sub 1 and a sub n to the general rule. So, diretso na natin, substitute. So, we have our a sub n is equal to 3. Sinabitute na natin. Our a sub 1 is 81. Then, our r is uh, missing. Y yan yung hahanapin natin. Then, yung n natin is 4. Kaya, 4 minus 1. Okay, next. 3 is equal to 81. Okay. Times r to the third power. Then, next. To cancel 81. 81 divide 81. Then, 3 over 81. Okay. Pwede ba natin ma-divide yung 3 over 81? So, hindi siya. So, anong gagawin? Kailangan lang natin i uh, reduce to lowest term. Okay? So, yung mangyayari, magiging 1 over 27. Okay? So, since our R has a exponent, so, para magtanggal yung exponent, kailangan natin i change into radical yung ating uh, sagot. So, it will become 
it will become a cube root of 1 over 27. Okay, now, how to find the cube root of 1 over 27? So, simply um, find the three factors that is a uh, result of our uh, 1 over 27. So, we have uh, 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 is equal to 1 over 27. So, our uh, R or the common ratio is 1 third. Okay. So, now we have our common ratio that is 1 third. <clears throat> to find the missing term, Simply multiply um, the first term by the common ratio. Okay. So, our first term is 81. Okay. To find the second term, 81 times 1 third. The result is 27. Okay. For the third term, 27 times 1 third. The result is 9. Okay, so our geometric means between 81 and 3 are 27 and 9. Okay, for more um, clarification, mag-comment lang kayo doon sa ating GC or dito sa ating uh, YouTube channel. So, yan lang po muna yung ating uh, lesson. Thank you so much for watching.